Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, the DEC puts out statements all the time or they, they have a website and probably most of you don't go on there to see some of the new trends that are going on. But one of the things that they have announced is they want people to be aware, to be able to identify and to do the right things if they catch a snakehead. Now, before I've always told you that snakeheads don't exist this far up yet. They're an invasive species. They they became really prolific and, and commonly found down in the Potomac area, but they've been moving their way northward. Can they tolerate the conditions that we have here? I don't know. A lot of times we find out things that we can't don't think can live in this area actually can. But why is it important to know about it? Snakeheads look just all, unless you really come to know the differences, they look just like two of the species that are actually native to our area. And that is the burbot and the bowfin, which look very much alike. The bowfin, a lot of us call a dogfish. They have have wicked dog teeth in their mouth and they're very aggressive and nobody really fishes for them for food. Burbot, on the other hand, which look very similar. Uh, I, I have a friend in Canada that swears it's the best eating fish that he could ever catch. And he lives in an area that are that there's walleyes and northern pike and all kinds of fish that most of us think we want to eat. However, snakeheads, they are different. They look very similar, but they're different. They can live out of water for up to two days or more. They're viciously aggressive and they have such an impact when they come into an area that they can affect even the major dominant other predator species. They can take over an area. They can really, really wreck an ecosystem. So the DEC wants us to be aware of this. And if you catch one, you can't can't throw it back for heaven's sakes, but take a picture, freeze it, and let the DEC know where you caught it and the conditions and so forth. Whether we can can stop the spread of invasive species, you know, that's always a big question. We certainly haven't done that with gobies. We certainly haven't done that with zebra mussels, at least where they exist. But what we want to do is do everything to try to prevent them spreading into other areas. And that's something to be aware of. Now, I've had lots of people tell me that they've caught snakehead in our area. But what you should do is you should Google snakehead. You should Google burbot and bullfin and see just what these fish look like so you know what we're talking about and realize that if the DEC is putting this out, chances are they are spreading to areas. Now, they'll spread in a number of ways. And a lot of times people have them in aquariums and then they, they, they dump the aquarium out or something and they're spread that way. And remember, these, these snakehead fish, whatever you want to call them, they can spread by land as well as water. They can exist for a couple of days and move on land. And, and they'll, they'll eat a lot of things that you'd be, little birds, all kinds of stuff. They're very aggressive. So I guess my story today is that snakehead may be coming and it's important that we know what they look like, what they do, and how to tell the DEC about it. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.